Hey, good morning, guys. <clears throat> okay, so yesterday I went out and um, I wanted to buy a Garmin Striker 9, a 9 inch Striker. I don't need the GPS and I didn't really want to spend 1800 bucks, but I was quite happy to spend 850 900 dollars. Um, and it appears that, uh, yep, uh, both Anaconda and BCF don't sell them anymore. They were available about three weeks ago, of course, but they aren't now. So at the end of the day, I, you know, I bought a seven because I really wanted uh, another one and I wasn't going to spend 1800 bucks to get a nine inch. Anyway, there's plenty of bits and pieces. I'm still using the, um, the smaller um, Echo Map, which has GPS on it. I need to be able to mount both the units um, over here somewhere without them interfering with each other. So I'm thinking about relocating the um, uh, the GPS about there, a little bit higher. Anyway, in order to um, um, find different mount mounting spots for the um, uh, for the uh, four and a half inch echo map first, I'm going to have to make up a new bracket. Okay, so that's version num number one. As you can see, it's very close to me. So for where I'm sitting, um, it's incredibly convenient. Okay, now we've got to do the main, the main gig. Anyway, I fashioned out a, um, a bracket from some bits and pieces. Um, that's from an old uh, transducer mount. Um, uh, yeah, one of the very old ones, swivel ones. And uh, this um, bit of aluminium um, is from a, um, a cut-off bit for a uh, bimini. Stop! Stop already! And that is the swivel mount uh, for the actual... Wow, what a job that was. Well, that's a bit of engineering on that one there, but it's sturdy now. It used to be, yeah, before it was just too sloppy. Because I've got the other transducer here for the Echo Map, I'm actually going to be putting the other one on the other side here. Right. This here is relatively clean water. Um, so I'm just going to mount the um, other transducer in the same position as that one there, except on this side here. Yeah, so this came out of the packaging as well. It's to mount a uh, transducer to a trolling motor, which I'm not planning to do. So that's the bracket that <coughs> is attached to the transom and that is the uh, swivel bracket for the uh, transducer so this is where the um, uh, new transducer has been uh, installed right next to the little boarding platform transducer cable um, you know is sort of secured with I'm using actually aluminium rivets, better than stainless steel screws. And the cable is then protected with some um, electrical flexi, you know, conduit here. Um, and runs along there. So that's how it looks from there. Yeah, so we did wind up getting out yesterday, which was really good. Um, and weather didn't look you know, all that flash first thing up in the morning, but didn't matter. Um, yeah, I was really happy with the install uh, of the two units. New sounders in. Never ceases to amaze me how nice 
like the softest thing ride. It's just beautiful. Because it's a bit sloppy out here. Oh well, just lost a, a shrimp, plastic, wound up in the scrub of a zealous casting. So we'll try something else. Anyway, it's a nice day, isn't it? So I'm really happy with this um, install because um, you know I can turn it while I'm fishing on the front there. It's great. Yeah. All right, Carol's got a nice, that's a beautiful brim. Oh, no, it's not. What is that? What I don't is? know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happen? Okay, just hold the camera. Oh, baby. Okay. Oh, he's waving at us now. All right, we'll just get him on board. Oh. Yeah. He's beautiful. He's a beautiful it? fish. I don't know. Yeah, I don't quite know what it is, but... He's got a strange mouth. Nice fish. Oh. Okay. We will let him go. Right. Right up. Anyway, thanks for watching, um, hit that like button and subscribe, it's free, catch you soon, bye.